everyone welcome to another video and thank you for tuning in so today I just wanted to remind you guys or if you're new to Tesla um, that when you leave your phone in the car it may not be locked like you think it is let's get on with the video All right, like I was saying in the past, a lot of times I'll go places running, swimming or whatnot, mountain biking, and I'll leave my phone in the car and I'll use a key card to secure the vehicle. Well, I'm as guilty as anyone else for doing this, so I wanted to pass this along to you guys that in spite of you locking the car, and you see it gives all the physical cues, the beep, the mirrors close in, everything feels like it's locked and you'll walk away thinking okay all good we'll take the key card and we'll put it somewhere else i'm gonna go off screen for a second okay so now you would think that car's secure and no one could get into it unfortunately it will open right up and not only will it open right up but if your phone is in the car no matter where it is, if you have it hidden, whatnot, someone can put it in drive and start driving off with it. So, why does this happen? So obviously this happens because the car recognizes the phone and it thinks that the phone is in proximity of the vehicle and so it should lock and then unlock the vehicle. For me, the problem is, is that it definitely, uh, with that mirrors closing and it beeping, when I use a key uh, card, it gives me that false sense of security and I forget that it is actually still technically unlocked. So, how do you get around that? Well, at first I thought it was both airplane mode and or just turning off the Bluetooth. But truthfully, it is just Bluetooth. You can leave it your phone in airplane mode and it will still work as a key. So don't do that. Just you have to turn the Bluetooth off. So once you turn the Bluetooth off, then your car is actually locked with your phone in it. So let's go ahead and try that out. Turning off the Bluetooth. You'll even get an alert says that your uh, that your phone is no longer uh, used as a key. All right. Sorry, I was having to look for the key card. Lock it up. And even with the key, this uh, you know the RFD isn't strong enough to work as a proximity sensor, so locked. Sentry mode is activated and it even says on the screen tap key to uh, unlock the vehicle. So now your car is actually secure. There we go. And again, I, I think this is important for everyone to know because again, if you weren't aware that even though all the physical cues of the vehicle say I'm locked, that it's not and you don't remember to actually turn your Bluetooth off on your phone, your car is vulnerable. So again, I just wanted to pass that along to you guys just in case you do what I do, which is you use a key fob or the key card or even leave your phone in there and use somebody else's phone to lock your car. Then, you know, as long as there's a, a phone in there with Bluetooth on that's used as a key, it is vulnerable. So. All right, guys. Well, I just like, again, I wanted to pass that on and share that with you guys. So remember, if you're going to leave your phone in the car, turn off your Bluetooth. Keep it safe. All right. Thanks, guys. And remember, go to your car meets, enjoy with you what you have, and have fun with your mods. Thank you, guys. We'll see you on the next video.